Got him. Move! Hello, YouTubers. My name is Axe Factor. By now, Battlefield 4, along with PlayStation Network and Xbox One, is playing out like a poorly written soap opera that really doesn't know which direction it wants to go. Are good things happening? Are bad things happening? Are both good and bad things happening? At the end of the day, the soap opera sucks, and we're all tired of it. Yesterday, I did a video log style video, the first of its kind, talking about the PlayStation Network being down for two plus days, Xbox One being down for extended periods of time, along with Battlefield on the PC being down. But then it came back up late last night and really became a lot like Laggy Field, something that was just like the night before Christmas Eve while live streaming. Did not matter what part of the country you tried to join a server on the PC side, East Coast, West Coast, Chicago, Dallas, there was micro stuttering and rubber banding going around for pretty much all the players involved. Or is it because the backbones in the United States were under so much pressure from the various DDoSs coming in, it was just flexing those too much? Basically, slowing down everybody's connection all the way around the United States. The good news is this. As I talk right now, the PC servers have finally come back up again. That's right, they were up last night for a couple hours, and then they went down for quite a few hours early this morning and into the early afternoon or late evening, depending on what part of the world you live in. This is actually a clip for some classic mode rush before Laggy Field struck. That was the night before Christmas Eve. And then, of course, last night when those PC servers came up. We're actually going to cut to some of this footage before I start talking about this again. If this is a calm before another storm, or we finally have this behind us. I know PlayStation Network and Xbox One, along with the PC side of EA things, have been down for multiple days combined. And that's no fun for anybody this time of year, because it's Christmas time after all, right? Kill the NGs, protect your, protect your meat. He just, he just more, look at my body! <laughs> Fucking lag. Nope. Going ham, going ham, and a laggy fucking server. Oh, we got a knife axe factor now. You got shot. Quite Dude, look at his leg. <laughs> They're dead too. All right, aim's coming back. It's a laggy fucking high. I don't know if you can... Nice job, Commander. And that right there is a pretty good example of what's been happening the day before Christmas Eve, and of course late last night when the servers did come back up before they went down again. Just that rubber banding that happens, where you move forward, then your character freezes, then he moves forward again, or backwards, or if you're in a vehicle, then all of a sudden your aim just jumps, like an attack boat or tank. Or you went ADS and now you're back to hip fire, even though on your screen, and your mouse or your controller, you clicked ADS. This is actually some jet J damn footage from the night before Christmas Eve when this really started to ramp up. And that is some pro flying right there. Had to vent just a little bit. So the question is this, are we through the thick of this? Right now, as we speak, the connections are being made to Battlefield 4. 50,000 people are logged into the PC side. PS3 has 37,000, Xbox 360, 22,000, Xbox One, 24,000, and PS4 only has 2,500 people. Is that simply a PlayStation Network issue at this point, or is Battlefield server still having an issue on the PlayStation 4 side? But remember, a lot of this has to do with the integrity of the backbones of the United States. If all this stuff is getting slammed, all that broadband, that pipeline is being taken up. It might be some rocky connections and pings for the next couple of days. What do you guys think? Are we through the thick of it? Or is this a calm before yet another storm? As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you guys soon.